The following tutorial is brought to you by WholeLoops.com. E Production time. I'm Reed Stefan, realist puppet in the game. Today, we're creating an artificial vibrato using autotune. Now, this effect was recently made famous by a couple of Post Malone mix downs, and it's actually a really simple and practical effect that you can achieve with autotune. So, the first thing you're going to want to do is pick the retune speed settings for your vocal that make it sound good. And if you've watched my last tutorial, which was actually a shootout of every new version of autotune in 2019, I encourage you to hit the link in the description. And that led us to this version of autotune as the one that sounded the best on this vocal. So the first thing we're going to do is just take a listen to the hook without any of the vibrato yet. I don't want to get emotional, but how do I suppress it all? I know that I can, I can't fight or it with fight yet. So the first thing that we're going to do is automate a few of the parameters here in Auto-Tune. I'm definitely going to want to take, let's see, I'm definitely going to want to take all of these vibrato options and add them to the automation list. If you're in Ableton, you could skip that step, but for Pro Tools users, you're gonna wanna go ahead and automate vibrato shape control. And we're gonna turn it up for every long note in the hook because this vibrato trick doesn't work on quick words. It only works on long drawn out words. So emotion null and suppress it all. So this, since those are the long notes in this hook. And then there's another one over here. And you wanna do sine wave, not any of the other options above that, cause that's not gonna give you a smooth sounding vibrato. And we're just gonna hit every long note with a little bit of vibrato. So now that we have it automated to go on when we need it, let's actually dial in the vibrato settings. I like to use 100% with formant vibrato because that doesn't make it sound detuned. And I also like to use full amplitude amount because that just wiggles the volume of the vocal. And then pitch amount is the one you really have to be careful with because this could either make your vibrato sound like your vocal fell out of tune or make it sound really cool. So you got to to play it by ear and up here we have onset delay which is how long it waits from the beginning of the long note to actually start the vibrato and onset rate is the speed of the vibrato in the beginning of it let's solo our lead vocal and take a listen to what we have i don't want to get emotional i don't want to get emotional do you suffer from weak mastering? Do your mixes sound like they belong in the trash bin playlist? Maybe you're just missing the sauce. Introducing Waves Master Sauce, our most powerful sauce preset ever. Finish your music today with Waves Master Sauce, only at Holoops.com. No, no. Let's try another word. Let's turn the onset delay down so it starts sooner. There it is. And without it. So let's turn that back on. And sometimes it really vibratos it, and that's the point where I would go and turn down the vibrato pitch modulation. If you feel like it got a little bit intense on this one, we could just turn that down. And let's go back to the beginning. Hey. And let's maybe do a slightly slower vibrato. Variate this the tiniest little bit. Let's go ahead back to our vibrato shape. And let's see if there's anywhere else in this vocal that we can add a little vibrato. Emotional. Hey, emotional. Yeah. Emotional. Hey, hey, hey. 
On this one, I have a tremolo plugin that's making it just wobble in volume. I didn't want to do straight up vibrato on all of them. So I did automate a little bit of this Sound Toys Tremolator plugin on year two. And that's without it, and this is with it. So even if you don't have auto-tune, you could still somewhat get a cool vibrato effect just by throwing a tremolator on there. But the vibrato that you get when you adjust the pitch and form it here in auto-tune is really something special. That one might have been a little bit intense. Let's turn down... And now all you got to do is just copy your auto-tune down onto the stacks here in your hook so that they all get auto-tune. And let's check out the finished product. I don't want to get emotional, but how do I suppress it all? I know that I can, I can fight for you if I do it. Too deep, so I even try, yeah, I'm emotional. Acting like the tears won't fall, won't fall, no. I left too high. Well, there you have it. That is my tutorial on the Post Malone vocal vibrato effect using Antares Auto-Tune. I hope you found all the tips and tricks in this tutorial useful, and I'll catch you guys next time with another video. Peace out.